Hello everyone, now let us discuss about 2023 ICD 10CM coding guidelines for chapter 9 which deals with diseases of circulatory system. Currently, we will be discussing the part 4 of chapter 9. And in the current session, we will focus on atherosclerotic coronary artery disease and angina. The guidelines which are pertinent to atherosclerotic coronary artery disease and angina with new codes that have been added in 2020. Now let us look at the new set of codes that have been added. The first code that has been added is refractory angina pectoris. A new code has been added for refractory angina pectoris. That is I-22. And there are combination codes for atherosclerotic heart disease and angina. Since an angina code is added, a new angina code is added, that is I-20.2, refractory angina pectoris. Similarly, other combination codes have also been added. The first one is I-25.112, which deals with atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery with refractory angina pectoris. This is a combination code which must be used when CAD is present with refractory angina. The next is I-25.702. This is also new code. Atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft unspecified with refractory angina pectoris. The next is I-25.712. Atherosclerosis of autologous vein coronary artery bypass graft with refractory angina pectoris. The next code is I-25.722, atherosclerosis of autologous artery, coronary artery bypass graft with refractory angina pectoris. All the codes they include with the refractory angina pectoris. The next one is I-25.732. It deals with atherosclerosis of non-autologous biological coronary artery bypass graft with refractory angina pectoris. The next new code is I-25.752. Atherosclerosis of native coronary artery of transplanted heart with refractory angina pectoris. The next is I-25.762. Atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart with refractory angina pectoris. And finally, I-25.792. Atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft with refractory angina pectoris. Now, coming to the guideline regarding the atherosclerotic coronary artery disease and angina. Those two are different diseases. They do have different codes, but there are combination codes for CAD and angina whenever they are associated with each other. So, ICD-10CM has combination codes for atherosclerotic heart disease with angina pectoris. And the subcategories for these codes are I-25.11. This is further classifiable. Atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery with angina pectoris and I-25.7 series. It deals with atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft and coronary artery of transplanted heart with angina pectoris. These two subcategories, they deal with the combination codes of atherosclerotic heart disease with angina pectoris. Now, let us briefly discuss what is angina pectoris. Angina pectoris as such is not a disease, but it is a pain syndrome. Angina is a feeling of pain, squeezing or pressure in the chest. It happens when a part of the heart does not receive enough oxygen than usual. And usually happens due to ischemia, that is lack of blood supply. Angina pectoris usually happens due to ischemia when one or more of the coronary arteries become narrow or blocked. And induction of an adverse oxygen supply demand situation in a portion of myocardium. Whenever the coronary arteries become narrow, there will be a induction of adverse oxygen supply and demand situation in the portion of myocardium that leads to angina pectoris. And it is a feeling of pain, squeezing or pressure in the chest. It happens when heart does not receive enough of oxygen than usual. <laughs> Coming to the causes. Angina pectoris is usually caused from underlying coronary artery disease which is nothing but CAD. And coronary artery supply 
the oxygen rich blood to heart what is the function of coronary artery coronary artery supply the oxygen rich blood to heart and when cholesterol collects on the wall of the artery it forms heart plaques and this leads to narrowing of the arteries and even those plaques may break off and form clogs which blocks the arteries and finally if blood cannot carry if the coronary artery cannot carry the blood to heart the heart muscle cannot work properly and this leads to angina it usually occurs due to underlying coronary artery disease now coming to angina pectoris coats it deals with the subcategory i20 the subcategory i20 deals with angina pectoris so whenever we are coding angina pectoris if you see in the table list you will find below the code use additional code to identify the presence of whenever angina pectoris is coded you need to use additional code to identify the presence of exposure to environmental tobacco smoke which is given by the code z77.22 history of tobacco dependence z87.891 occupational exposure to environmental tobacco smoke that is z57.31 if the patient has tobacco dependence it is given in the subcategory f17 this is further classifiable you need to code that and also tobacco use which is given by z72.0 these codes must be used additionally when present along with angina pectoris and it includes it has an excludes one note excludes one indicates they cannot be coded together so the codes come which come under excludes one cannot be coded with the principal code so angina pectoris that is i20 series cannot be coded with angina pectoris with atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery i25.1 you cannot code in conjunction i20 and i25.1 and also atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft and coronary artery transplanted heart with angina pectoris i27 25.7 series and also post infarction angina i23.7 all these three categories cannot be coded with i20 series these two they have combination codes for angina pectoris when you have combination code you need not code specifically angina pectoris along with i25.1 11 and i25.7 series now here is the list of complete list of angina pectoris codes the first one is i20 it deals with unstable angina or accelerated angina crescendo angina de novo effect on angina intermediate coronary syndrome and peri infraction syndrome worsening effort angina whenever the physician documents any of these terms you need to code i20.0 next is i20.1 it is angina pectoris with documented spasm that is the main code and whenever physician documents antispastic angina principal angina spasm induced angina and variant angina in all these four cases also you need to code i20.1 and finally coming to the new addition that is i20.2 it deals with refractory angina pectoris this is the new code that has been added i20.2 next is i20.8 it deals with other forms of angina pectoris and whenever the physician documents angina equivalent angina of effort coronary slow flow syndrome stenocardia stable angina you need to code i20.8 and whenever we are coding i20.8 you need to code additional symptoms associated with angina equivalent use additional codes for symptoms associated with angina equivalent finally i20.9 angina pectoris unspecified or angina pectoris nos angina nos means i20.9 anginal syndrome or cardiac angina ischemic chest pain even for ischemic chest pain you need to code i20.9 so these are the various codes of angina pectoris 
now coming to atherosclerotic heart disease it comes under i25 series what is i25 i25 deals with chronic ischemic heart disease and whenever we are coding the subcategory i25 you need to use additional codes to identify the presence of chronic total occlusion of coronary artery i25.82 whenever this is present chronic total occlusion of coronary artery is present along with can you need to code this also i25.82 and exposure to environmental tobacco smoke which is given by the code z77.22 next is history of tobacco dependence which is given by z87.891 the next is occupational exposure to environmental tobacco smoke which is given by the code z57.31 and if the patient has tobacco dependence you need to code from the category z17 and also to indicate tobacco use you need to code z72.0 whenever these things are present in addition to i25 series you need to use additional codes to identify the presence of these following conditions and next is it includes uh, it has an excludes two mode excludes two means though they are not related they can be coded together so you can code together non ischemic myocardial injury with i25 series excludes two includes non ischemic myocardial injury which is given by the code i15.8 now coming to atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery this comes under the subcategory i25.1 it is further expandable whenever the physician documents atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease or coronary artery atheroma or coronary artery atherosclerosis or coronary artery disease simply cad cad or coronary artery sclerosis whenever the physician documents any of these terms by default you need to code i25.10 that is atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery without angina pectoris and below it you can find use additional code if applicable to identify whenever CAD is associated with calcified coronary lesion or lipid-rich plaque. You need to code I25.84 and I25.83 along with I25.10. Use additional code if applicable to identify coronary atherosclerosis due to calcified coronary lesion, which is given by the code I25.84, and coronary atherosclerosis due to lipid-rich plaque. which is given by the code i25.83 whenever these two conditions are coexisting with cat you need to use this codes additional now coming to the code categories atherosclerotic heart disease is categorized into two types with angina pectoris cad with angina pectoris and cad without angina pectoris for with angina pectoris we have the combination codes and we will discuss we will focus on each and every code of cad with angina pectoris and let us first see atherosclerosis or atherosclerotic heart disease without angina pectoris first let us cover cad without angina pectoris first now coming to atherosclerotic heart disease without angina pectoris that is atherosclerosis nos The way, there are various codes for atherosclerotic heart disease without angina pectoris first of all it is broadly categorized into atherosclerotic heart disease of coronary artery of native heart cad of native heart next is atherosclerotic coronary artery of transplanted hearts the codes are categorized based on native heart and transplanted heart that is first categorization next coming to atherosclerosis atherosclerotic heart disease of coronary artery coronary artery can be native coronary artery and bypass graft further categorized into cad of native coronary artery of native heart and cad of bypass graft of coronary artery native heart so coronary artery 
scan of native coronary artery means by default you need to code I25.10 that is NOS. That is by default code. Scan of native coronary artery means you need to code I25.10. Next, CAD of bypass, all these codes are without angina pectoris. You need to remember these are without angina pectoris. CAD of bypass graft of coronary artery. By default, the code is I25.810. This is the final code. Coronary artery disease of bypass graft of coronary artery. The code is I25.10. Now coming to atherosclerosis of coronary artery of transplanted heart. It is also categorized based on native coronary artery or bypass graft. So CAD of native coronary artery of transplanted heart. The NOS code is I25.811. The CAD of native coronary artery of transplanted heart. The code is I25.811. Next is coronary artery disease of bypass graft of Coronary artery of transplanted heart. The NOS is I25.812. So these are the various final codes for atherosclerotic heart disease without angina pectoris. They include native coronary artery, bypass graft and transplanted heart also. Here you can see the atherosclerotic coronary artery disease without angina. I25.810 deals with atherosclerosis coronary artery bypass graft without angina pectoris or atherosclerosis coronary artery bypass graft NOS. Next is I25.811. It deals with atherosclerosis of native coronary artery of transplanted heart NOS. The next is I25.812. It deals with atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart NOS. Now coming to atherosclerotic coronary artery disease with angina. When using one of these combination codes, it is not necessary to use an additional code for angina pectoris. That is first point. Whenever we are using combination codes, you should not use additional code for angina pectoris. Second point is a causal relationship can be assumed, a causal relationship can be assumed in patient with both atherosclerosis and angina pectoris. So by default, you can associate that they are related like chronic kidney disease and hypertension in such way. A causal relationship can be assumed in a patient with both atherosclerosis and angina pectoris unless, unless the documentation indicates that angina is due to something other than the atherosclerosis. Unless the physician clearly documents or indicates that angina is not due to atherosclerosis, by default you need to consider that there is a cause and effect relationship between these two. Third point is, if a patient with coronary artery disease is admitted, if a patient with coronary artery disease is admitted due to an acute myocardial infraction, the acute myocardial infraction should be sequenced before the coronary artery disease. That is one more guiding. If the patient is admitted with coronary artery disease, patient with coronary artery disease is admitted due to acute myocardial infraction, AMI, then the PDX should be AMI before the CAT. Now coming to the subcategories which deal with the combination codes of CAD and angina. There are two subcategories which deals with the combination codes. The first one is I25.11 subcategory. I25.11 it is further classifiable. It deals with CAD of native coronary artery with angina. The next is I25.7 series. It deals with CAD of bypass grafts and transplanted organ with angina. I25.11, it deals with atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery with angina pectoris. Whereas I25.7 series, it deals with atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass grafts and coronary artery of transplanted heart with angina pectoris. We will discuss in detail about each code. 
Now we have seen that when we were discussing about the angina pectoris, we have seen there are different types of angina. For example, unstable angina, angina with documented spasm, refractory angina and other forms of angina. So similarly, whenever combination codes are used, for much more clear understanding, the sixth digit, the sixth digit in the combination code, it can be subcategory I25.11 or I27.7 series. In either of the case, here I have written I25.11 but I25.7 is also applicable. In either of the case, the sixth digit, if you observe, the sixth digit in the combination code indicates the type of angina associated with CAN. This is ground rule. The sixth digit indicates the type of angina associated with CAN. Whenever the sixth digit is zero, it deals with, with unstable angina. When the sixth digit is 1, it indicates that angina pectoris with the documented spasm. Whenever the sixth digit is 2, it indicates that with the refractory angina pectoris, this is a new addition. Whenever the sixth digit is 2, it deals with CAD with refractory angina pectoris. And whenever the sixth digit is 8, it deals with other forms of angina pectoris. And whenever the sixth digit is 9, it deals with unspecified angina pectoris. 0 indicates unstable angina, 1 indicates with documented spasm, 2 indicates with refractory angina pectoris, 8 indicates with other forms of angina, and finally 9 indicates with unspecified angina pectoris. Now here you can see the first category, that is I25.110. The sixth digit 0 indicates atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery with unstable angina. Sixth digit 0 indicates unstable angina. The next code is I25.111111. The sixth digit 1 indicates with the angina pectoris with documented spasm. So I25.111 indicates atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery with angina pectoris with documented spasm. And the sixth digit 2, here 2 indicates with the refractory angina pectoris. So this is a new code, new addition. I25.112 indicates atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery with refractory angina pectoris. The next code is I25.118. The sixth digit 8 indicates other forms of angina pectoris. It deals with atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery with other forms of angina pectoris. And finally, I25.119. It indicates atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery with unspecified angina pectoris. Or Atherosclerotic heart disease with angina, NOS can be coded with I25.119 and or atherosclerotic heart disease with ischemic chest pain. Whenever the physician documents atherosclerotic heart disease with ischemic chest pain, you can code I25.119. This is the NOS code for atherosclerotic heart disease with angina and atherosclerotic heart disease with, with the ischemic chest pain. Now coming to the next category of combination code that is I25.7. We know that I25.11 deals with CAN of native coronary artery with angina. Now I25.7 series deals with CAN of bypass grafts of coronary artery and also CAN of transplanted organs. So for further better understanding there is a categorization of fifth digit in the subcategory i25.7 so how many characters are there here one two three four so fifth character the sixth character indicates type of angina that is applicable for this sub series also here the fifth character that is after seven seven is the fourth character the fifth character indicates fifth digit in the combination code of I25.7 indicates type of vessel, whether it is bypass or uh, of transplanted organ in such way, whether it is artery or vein. So, fifth 
digit in I twenty five dot seven. I twenty five dot seven zero. To be more specific, I twenty five dot seven zero indicates atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft. I twenty seven dot seven zero. Whenever the fifth digit is zero in this subcategory, it indicates atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft. If the fifth digit is one, that is I twenty five dot seven one. I twenty five dot seven one indicates atherosclerosis of autologous vein, vein coronary artery bypass graft. Next is fifth digit two. I twenty five dot seven two. I twenty five dot seven two indicates atherosclerosis of autologous artery. Here previously when one indicates autologous vein, next two indicates autologous artery of coronary artery bypass graft. Next I twenty five dot seven three indicates atherosclerosis of non autologous biological coronary artery bypass graft. Next five. Four is not there. I twenty five dot seven five indicates atherosclerosis of native coronary artery of transplanted heart. Next is I twenty five dot seven six indicates atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted organ. Previously, it is native coronary artery of transplanted organ. Five indicates native coronary artery of transplanted organ. Six indicates bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted organ. And finally, nine I twenty five dot seven nine indicates atherosclerosis of other coronary artery bypass grafts. So these are the various fifth characters and their specific type of vessels. Now let us discuss in detail. I twenty five dot seven zero zero. I twenty five dot seven zero. The fifth character zero indicates coronary artery bypass graft, and the sixth character zero indicates unstable angina. So the final description is I twenty five dot seven zero zero is the final code for atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft unspecified with unstable angina. Next is I twenty five dot zero one. Fifth character is zero. Sixth character is one. It deals with atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft, unspecified with angina pectoris with documented spasm. And next is a new addition, I twenty five dot seven zero two. It deals with atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft, unspecified with refractory angina pectoris. The next is I twenty five dot seven zero eight. It deals with atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft unspecified with other forms of angina pectoris. Finally, I twenty five dot seven zero nine. It indicates atherosclerosis of coronary artery bypass graft unspecified with unspecified angina pectoris. Next, coming to fifth character one seven one I twenty five dot seven one series. I twenty five dot seven one zero indicates atherosclerosis of autologous vein coronary artery bypass graft with unstable angina. I twenty five dot seven one one indicates atherosclerosis of autologous vein coronary artery bypass graft with angina pectoris with documented spasm. You have to remember sixth character is same. Zero indicates unstable angina. One indicates With documented spasm, two indicates with refractory angina pectoris, eight indicates with other forms of angina, and nine indicates unspecified angina pectoris. That is common for all subcategories. Next is this is a new code, I twenty five dot seven one two. Atherosclerosis of autologous vein coronary artery bypass graft with refractory angina pectoris. Next is I twenty five dot seven one eight. Atherosclerosis of autologous vein coronary artery bypass graft with other forms of angina pectoris. And finally, I twenty five dot seven one nine. It deals with atherosclerosis of autologous vein coronary artery bypass graft with unspecified angina. Next, coming to fifth character two, I twenty five dot seven two series. I twenty five dot seven two zero indicates atherosclerosis of autologous artery 
coronary artery bypass graft with unstable angina pectoris. I25.721, all these are final codes. I25.721 indicates atherosclerosis of autologous artery, coronary artery bypass graft with angina pectoris with documented spasm. The next is a new code I25.722. It deals with atherosclerosis of autologous artery, coronary artery bypass graft with refractory angina pectoris. The next is I25.728. It deals with atherosclerosis of autologous artery, coronary artery bypass graft with other forms of angina pectoris. The next is I25.729. It deals with atherosclerosis of autologous artery, coronary artery bypass graft with unspecified angina pectoris. The next is I25.730. Fifth character 3 indicates non-autologous biological coronary artery bypass graft. So the description for I25.730 is atherosclerosis of non-autologous biological artery biological coronary artery bypass graft with ans unstable angina pectoris. The next is I25.731. It indicates atherosclerosis of non-autologous biological coronary artery bypass graft with angina pectoris with documented spasm. Next is a new code I25.732. It deals with atherosclerosis of non-autologous biological coronary artery bypass graft with refractory angina pectoris. This is a new code. Next is I25.738. It deals with atherosclerosis of non-autologous biological coronary artery bypass graft with other forms of angina pectoris. The next is I25.739. It deals with atherosclerosis of non-autologous biological coronary artery bypass graft with unspecified angina pectoris. Next is we know that fifth character 4 is not there. Finally coming to fifth character 5. I25.750. It indicates atherosclerosis of native coronary artery of transplanted heart. Fifth character 5 indicates transplanted heart. Remember. I25.750 indicates atherosclerosis of native coronary artery of transplanted heart with unstable angina pectoris. The next is I25.751. It indicates atherosclerosis of native coronary artery of transplanted heart with angina pectoris with documented spasm. The next is a new code I25.752. Atherosclerosis of native coronary artery of transplanted heart with refractory angina pectoris. The next is I25.758. It deals with atherosclerosis of native coronary artery of transplanted heart with other forms of angina pectoris. And finally, I25.759. It deals with atherosclerosis of native coronary artery of transplanted heart with unspecified angina pectoris. The next is subcategory, fifth character, 6, I25.760. 6 indicates, fifth character, 6 indicates atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart. So, the final description of I25.760 is atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart with unstable angina pectoris. Next is I25.6761. It deals with atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart with angina pectoris with documented spasm. Next is a new code I25.762 series. 762 code. It deals with atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart with refractory angina pectoris. The next is I25.768. It deals with atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart with other forms of angina pectoris. The next is I25.769. It, it, it deals with atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart with unspecified angina. Now coming to the final code. I25.790. 
it indicates atherosclerosis of other coronary artery bypass graft with unstable angina pectoris next is i25.791 it indicates atherosclerosis of other coronary artery bypass graft with angina pectoris with documented spasm and this is a new code i25.792 it indicates atherosclerosis of other coronary artery bypass graft with refractory angina pectoris the next is i25.798 it deals with atherosclerosis of other coronary artery bypass graft with other forms of angina pectoris and finally i25.799 it deals with atherosclerosis of other coronary artery bypass graft with unspecified angina pectoris now let us discuss some examples the first one is patient presents with refractory angina and cat so whenever the physician documents angina and coronary artery disease by default we need to assume cause and effect relationship so here you need to quote combination code patient presents with refractory angina and cat so the combination code is a new code i25.112 atherosclerotic heart disease of native coronary artery with refractory angina pectoris this is the answer next question patient presents with atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart past medical history angina here angina is present and cad is also present so by default you need to quote combination code and angina is unspecified here so the appropriate code for this example is i25.769 atherosclerosis of bypass graft of coronary artery of transplanted heart with unspecified angina pectoris i25.769 next example patient suffering from cat due to calcified coronary lesion whenever we were talking about the coronary artery disease there you have seen that use additional code for calcified coronary lesion so whenever patient is suffering from cat due to calcified coronary lesion you need to use two codes the first one is i25.10 to indicate coronary artery disease the next is i25.84 to indicate coronary atherosclerosis due to calcified coronary lesion so two codes must be coded for this example by this we complete the coronary artery disease with angina guidelines thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and cpc training